Hi guys, it's John Ollie again from Tier 1. And what we're going to go over today is our third common error we see when people squat. And that is squat depth. Look, we've always been told, like, ask the grass, right, when you squat. But not everyone has that, that range of movement within their hips or that core control. So it's not necessarily the best way of squatting. So what we'll see and how that could present itself is a butt wing. So when you descend into the squat, Ollie at that point there loses his control of his hips and now he's butt winking, okay? The reason why we don't want to do that is because you're going to put a lot of sheer force through your lower back, but also impinge the anterior parts of the front part of your hip capsule. So you want to squat for any length of time and to be healthy, then it's something you definitely don't want to do. So one thing you can help with that is obviously have a gym partner or a personal trainer and help you step and help you look out for that and tell you where your squat depth is. Or alternatively, you could use a box. But be careful when you're doing a box squat though, is we want to make sure we get a knee bend here. So Ollie, is knee, he, when you're doing a box squat, you want to bring those feet right up against that box. If you have that box set up too far behind you, you're going to fall into that common error too of sitting back when you squat. So guys, have your, so when you're doing it, if you're going to do a box squat, have those feet right up against the box, have a light little touch and push the floor away, okay? So a box squat with heels next to the box, again, is a really, really good way of assessing squat depth and keeping you safe and healthy.